Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Thermaltake Water 2.0 Extreme Water Cooler. This is the top of the line water cooler from Thermaltake and this one should offer great cooling performance for the enthusiast. Here's the box which isn't the smallest. Again this is the Thermaltake Water 2.0 Extreme Water Cooler. Down here it says top of the line liquid cooler, equipped with power and performance, no refills needed. The 240mm radiator doubles the cooling surface and it offers universal socket compatibility. Very nice. As you can see it even supports the Intel LGA 2011 socket, but I'll tell you more about the compatibility in a minute or two. Here on the front you even get a nice picture of the cooler itself. On this side there's a description in different languages. And on the back you got lots and lots of details on the features. The back looks even nicer than the front to be honest. Here's the high performance water block, high reliability pump, high efficiency radiator, powerful cooling fan and lastly the fan control software. On this side you will basically see a detailed specification table. Down here is a preview of the performance when compared with an Intel box cooler. The box looks very nice for my taste. Alright but now let's take a look inside. There we go, this is what you get. Here's the water 2.0 extreme manual and please make sure to read that before trying to blindly install this water cooler. That's the CD with the fan control software on it. Install it once you've installed the cooler into your system. This here is the Thermaltic warranty information. In this bag there basically are all the mounting brackets, screws and so on. Everything you need. Now this is one of these mounting brackets. What I really don't like right off the bat is the fact that this bracket is made out of plastic and not metal. Same thing with this AMD bracket. But in terms of vibration it should be pretty good. But these included brackets really look cheap and unreliable. But the fans are great. These are two 120mm wide thermal take fans. Four pin fan connectors are used and what I really like is that the cables are sleeved very nicely. So it all looks clean. And last but not least the radiator and the pump. Here it is, I must say it looks very nice. It's a dual radiator and the size of it is really big. So make sure you do some research if this cooler will fit into your case. The build quality actually seems to be pretty good and it's quite heavy. And as for the tubing, Thermaltake went with pretty thick rubber tubes and therefore you get good flexibility. Here are the ends that lead into the radiator. The quality doesn't seem to be all that bad. Now on the other side where the pump is you get some cables. Right here for example is the 3 pin fan connector that goes onto the CPU fan header on your motherboard. And here are the two 4 pin fan headers for your two 120mm fans. This here is an internal USB connector. Make sure you connect that in order to control your fan speeds with the software. The pump itself looks very nice too and I like that Thermaltake even printed their logo on this and the Water 2.0 logo. This is a circular shaped pump as you can see. For my taste, well I'm not a big fan of these, but it's alright. That's just a thing of taste, many people prefer these. Thermal paste comes reapplied already, but I'd recommend to take this paste off because afterwards you will have to clean up a horrible mess. This is too much paste. The tubes are mounted onto the pump very nicely, I like that. Alright now once I've mounted the fans onto the radiator, the water cooler looks more complete now and I must admit it looks pretty elegant. The fans are white already like mentioned before and this could make it harder to match your color scheme. The fan mounting was no problem at all and there's no spacing at all between these two fans. So it's just a standard radiator but a little thicker. It's good that Thermaltig used black cables so you can hide them easier in your case. Before I continue let's move on to the specifications. The Thermaltig Water 2.0 Extreme uses copper as the cold plate material. The radiator dimensions are 270 times 120 times 38.3 mm. These are 10.63 times 4.72 times 1.51 inches. Two 120 mm fans are included. This water cooler supports the following sockets at the time of this video. Intel LJ2011, LJ1366, LJ1155 and 1156, AMD AIM-3 Plus and AIM-3, AIM-2 Plus and AIM-2 and lastly FM1. So yeah, the unit looks very nice once you've installed it in your system and it'll make a very elegant impression, especially if you're coming from air cooling. As you can see, this is what I was talking about earlier. The white fans don't match my color scheme, but it's not that bad. This radiator is a little thicker than the ones on other units, but as you can see, it fitted in my case without any problems. This is the Thermaltic Armor Revo Black full tower case by the way. I also reviewed that one if you're interested. These rubber tubes are very flexible, I really like that. If you want to you could also mount a radiator the other way so the tubes are on the right side. The pump unfortunately is a little annoying if you're not used to it, but it's not too bad. 
One thing I don't like is that you can't really hide away these cables here. But as you can see there's lots of room to work with and you actually can also install high profile memory in all 4 slots here. But that's with each water cooler, that's nothing special here. Oh and I also shouldn't forget to mention that I couldn't route the ATX 12V 8 pin power connector through the back and through the hole on the top because the radiator is just too thick for my case. You would need a larger case, I'm not saying there's absolutely no chance of doing that but it's really really hard. That's not a big deal but I just wanted to point it out. Now when you're done installing the water cooler into your system you should then move on to installing the fan speed software that comes on the CD. As you can see I've already installed it and it looks pretty cool. It gives you lots and lots of information on the temperatures, fan speeds, pump speed and even the sound level. Up there you can basically switch between different presets. Custom, silent and extreme. I'd recommend going with custom so you can customize it all. Then down here when you click on graphs you get graphs. Very useful. Now to the most important part, the fan control. Here you can basically change the fan ramp start temperature and the full fan speed temperature. You can customize it all. Below you could even enable notifications. That's very nice and I like that. The last tab would be settings. In here you can choose whether you want the temperatures to be displayed in Fahrenheit or Celsius, if you want it to start minimized, if it should run on startup and all that stuff. If you'd like to control the fan speed, then I'd definitely recommend you ticking off run on startup so it runs at these customized settings for example. This can of course also be a disadvantage because you have to install separate software just to control your fan speeds on this water cooling kit. Your HDD or SSD will have to load up an extra program, but yeah, it's not a big deal actually. But now we should get to the temperature results. But before I can show you that, here's my test system. As you can see, I'll be cooling down the Intel Core i7-3770K CPU that is running at stock speeds, so nothing is overclocked. On idle I get 28 degrees Celsius, which are 82 degrees Fahrenheit. On load I was able to cool the CPU down to 65 degrees Celsius, which are 149 degrees Fahrenheit. The ambient room temperature was at 20 degrees Celsius, which are 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So I really can't complain, these are some great results. So you definitely have some overclocking headroom there. 65 degrees isn't much at all for an i7-3770K at stock. The fans are also fairly silent unless you don't run these at the extreme preset in the fan control software. Unfortunately the pump makes a little bit of noise but it's not that bad. You will get used to it or who knows, maybe it was just my unit that was making a little bit of a pump noise. The Thermaltic Water 2.0 Extreme is a good choice for enthusiasts that want a high performance pre-filled water cooler. It offers great performance and is very silent, at least the fans. The pump was a little noisy on my unit but this could just be mine. This can differ from unit to unit. The thick radiator looks pretty cool and mighty but some computer cases can't fit it. But most cases should work with that water cooler if they support dual radiators. I really like the flexible rubber tubes and the build quality seems to be pretty good. The pump looks very basic but good. I'm not a big fan of circular shaped things so the pump isn't for my taste but many other people love that. The cooling performance is very good too and with that cooler you should definitely be able to achieve higher overclocks. With the fan control software you could manually ramp up the fan speeds with customized settings or by using presets. The installation of this unit was a little bit tricky, especially if you're alone. I wish Thermaltik would have designed that better. When I tried to uninstall the water cooler from my system, unfortunately the plastic mounting bracket got a little damaged because it wasn't robust enough. When I tried unscrewing the screws, the metal parts were damaging the plastic bracket and therefore the next installation will not be that easy anymore as well as the uninstallation. Pros are good price performance ratio, the fans are very silent, then I like the great design and the flexible rubber tubes. Unfortunately there are some cons too. First would be the pump is a little noisy, then the bad quality plastic mounting bracket is a major drawback, the radiator could be too thick for some computer cases so there's the possibility of interference with the motherboard. Other than that I give this water cooler an 8 out of 10 and would definitely recommend it in terms of performance. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.